Sign up today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 55. NASDAQ's down 14. S&P's up 5.5. Gold contract flat, 18.81 an ounce. We have silver down 29 cents, $26.24 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 34 cents, $47.95 a barrel notes and bonds. Ten-year note down two ticks, 137.28. The 30-year down 10 at 172.14. Both notes and bonds yesterday, folks, they were down. They were Rejected the lower price once again. Pretty amazing when you had uh, markets at all-time highs and bonds refused to go lower. King dollar. King dollar's got some acceleration on the way down out here today, down 369, 89.967. The euro is trading out here at 122. The yen is at 103.60, and the British pounds at 134 to 1 U.S. dollar. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? Good Tuesday morning. We we got a little bit of selling out there today. What's going on with that? I'll tell you, man. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, we'll find out. Very yeah. unusual, that's for sure, folks. Uh, there's there's no doubt. Uh, you come out of the gate, and you know the first get go out of the gate, uh, markets went to new all time highs, and then someone just came in and uh, basically just slammed it, man. <laughs> and and how about the Russell, right? Down 28 yeah. points right now in the futures. And I was talking about it just because, you know, getting lost in the shuffle a bit in terms of all the markets so much higher. It was at 2032. You ended the day almost 2% off the highs yesterday. And then right out of the gate, we're down 35 points from where we were trading at at 930 in the Russell, which is almost 2% from there. Um, Yes, and, and what happens, folks, is that when we're talking, like you were talking about 40 something points yesterday, Tom, right? That's right. From, and, yep, and, um, and in the Russell, folks, that's a lot of points. That's <laughs> Just it. Because we're dealing yeah. with so many large numbers now, but in the Russell, that is a monster number, folks, okay? I mean, that'd be like a 600 point swing in the Dow it, from the, it, exactly. the high pre market to where right. we ended the day at 4 right. p.m. Yeah. Um, and even right now, you're looking at that would be almost like a 500-point pullback in the Dow since the opening bell. I mean, you're talking about 35 points in an index where every 20 points is 1%. So big big moves, yeah. Big moves. And look at this. This is, like, pretty intense, man. I mean, in this set, this is the, uh, this is a, you know, uh, where, are, where is it again? Here it is. Let's see. One second. There it is right there. This is, like, sad for people that are in it. This This equity opened down. 100% folks. Well, no, it opened down 50%. It's, yeah. it's down $49, traded at $42. Um, this closed yesterday at $92.42 and opened this morning at 54 and it's at 42 Now, I don't, this is but, a, yeah. so it focuses on RNA therapeutics, which is the RNA is, that's what Modera is, as well as the, uh, you know, the, um, the Pfizer vaccine, both of them are using that platform. Leads, okay, let's see what they're hey. saying. Leads, this is, <laughs> there must be something else in, inside there were this. Five, I saw one headline of five downgrades, so somehow, so, go ahead, that's that's at least one thing going on. Yeah. Um, okay, underwhelming results from, scroll up there, oh. underwhelming from its COVID inoculation, growing concerns that the shot distribution will hit roadblocks. Um, yeah, I, I'm not quite sure what the deal is here, but it's not so good. So what it can, yeah, it looks like, uh, um, so they must be somehow within the vaccination process. And what is going on is it's not the types of numbers that oh, are being put out. Okay, down here. Okay. Um, meanwhile, it drew four analyst downgrades after the vaccine showed negligible antibody results that are unlikely to confer any meaningful antiviral protection. Oh, there you go, man. <laughs> that's the last yes, paragraph. Totally. Yeah, that's, that's what's okay, going on. Okay, there it is. Yeah. Whew. Holy cow, man. That, so folks, that's their own vaccine, huh? Yeah, 
That yeah. is, it's you know, it brings to light how how remarkable it is the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccine at ninety five percent. We've kind of moved past it. The S and P is up fifteen percent for the year, um, but there's there's you know that was not a guarantee, um, right? It, and we see one of them there that was trying to be developed and and falling apart with results that just aren't cutting it. Pretty amazing, man. It is. Um, we get over it, and this is gonna, what's going to be interesting here is that you know yesterday, folks, Apple and Amazon, I mean, took off like a rocket ship. Oof. That's that's what took off, took that Nasdaq up in a monster way. And so today is going to be interesting, man, because that you know we blasted the high in Apple, one thirty seven ninety eight. We hit one thirty eight seventy eight today, um, and you know we'll see whether you know you get sellers up there. That's, right now we get sellers. I mean, it's only down fifty cents. So that's not a big deal. Oh yeah, no, um, but they for but, sure. You right. know, it, it's like you know what's so wild, Tom, is that. Like, how does this work, right? You know, you come up to a high, right? And all of a sudden, you know, yeah, you get the high up there, and then all of a sudden, people just change their mind, right? They say, okay, I, I, it came to the high. Now, I think I'm going to sell some stock. I can tell Listen, you, that's, you know, that's I'm, that's technical analysis one on one, almost, right? Or, yeah, or, I, I um, know it just because it was prior resistance for sure, because it was right. a high and it sold off, right? So, you know, I, I talked about my program. I don't know if you listen to the S&P, man. I just put a line across because yes. I was looking at yesterday, right? You know, the, the break-even line uh, uh, where we started 2020. Right. And the futures closed out 2019 at 3236. We're sitting literally almost 500 points. We were over 500 points positive for the year. Right. But when you put that line just so simply on the chart, you can see the areas and how continually, right? Even bef before COVID, in January, I mean, it bounced off that level, right? Right. And then you, of course, cascade right through it. But the first time you come back, where do you stop? It's it's it's, a, it's amazingly simple. Where do you stop? You stop it, at break even. Because my goodness, you got even for the year after being down at twenty one hundred. Of course, you might find some sellers, right? Totally. And then you chop around again in July. You know, that's an area of like a little consolidation where people are saying, "All right, you know, should we really be positive for the year?" It's pretty, and then we bounce, of course, two big times this year, right off that level. So, yeah, pretty cool to just it's it's common sense sometimes, man. You know, it really is. That's a big number for everything we're going through to be positive for the year, to be negative for the year. It's uh, human emotions; they play a part. They no doubt. And folks, if you haven't test drive uh, Tommy's uh, newsletter yet, right? Great newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see Rocket Equities, and what brought this up, Tom is that right what Tommy was just talking about, he did an amazing video. Um, you know, they, they, those videos are cool, man. Uh, Thanks, man. And uh, what happens, folks, is that what we were just talking about, they, they brings you through the whole thing. I think you did that Christmas Day, right, or the day afterwards? Yeah, and so that yeah. one was just kind of, and I walked through Disney in there with a right. couple of the other positions. It was Christmas Eve. No right. Christmas Day videos, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, that's work. bad enough. <laughs> nah, they so, make us work Christmas Eve, not Christmas Day, thankfully. So uh, come over to our website at TFN, and folks, you go into newsletters, you're going to see Rocket Equities and Options. You just hit subscribe. Bottom line, you can get it for a month for $97. You get it for six months for $449, which is a savings of $133. You can get it for a year for $785, which is a savings of $379. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So kick off 2021 the right way. Come over, test drive it, folks. You'll like it. Bottom line, you'll, be, you know, you'll keep going. You don't like it. It doesn't work for you. Bottom line, you get your money back. Check it out right to the front page of TFNN under newsletters. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now struggling up 11. NASDAQ down 74. They're hitting the NASDAQ out here. What's the red? I see red. What's I, going I on? I know. Sherman Williams, Ooh. they hit the red. Watch button. out. Here we go. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. Do you have broken or unwanted jewelry, diamonds, watches, coins, silverware, and other collectibles that you would like to turn into cash? Tiger Precious Metals and Stones will pay fair market value. We make it easy to turn your precious metals that are sitting around in your house into cash. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245, and he will walk you through our safe and secure process. Andy has been in the business buying and selling precious metals for over 15 years. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 25. You get the NASDAQ uh, down 58. S&Ps are flat. And uh, we got to go over and uh, Duffy just put this in the den. I got to see this thing. I mean, Jimmy just put it in the den. Uh, he had the TZA, which makes sense, folks. The TZA is the 300 uh, percent inverse correlation of the Russell uh, yesterday it was at, uh, what, 639, and you're at, well, you're at 706, but that's, that's a big number, man. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, I'm doing it right now, 75 divided by 632, at yeah. least like 12% uh, that TZA just off of almost 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah. Pretty wild. So yeah. So we'll see where this thing shakes out. Uh, we're going to kick, uh, kick into 2021. How's that, right? We're kicking into it in a big way, man. Markets near all-time highs. It was pretty remarkable before this little sell-off. I was saying we're just going to drift tick by tick to all-time highs on a continual basis coming into the new year. It's pretty close, all things considered. That's what um, it looked like this morning. There's no doubt. Yeah. I mean, it's it, you know, th this is unusual, folks, in, in the context of you know, markets were up. You know, you get a holiday week. Um, you know, there's not not a lot of people around, and you know, guess what? We just started the day. I mean, yesterday when we were on Tom, the Nasdaq was the weakest indice, and then all of a sudden, someone put a fire into Apple and Amazon, and Oof, it was like, yeah. you got to be kidding me! Amazon. Do you see this move yesterday on Amazon, folks? Look I, at this! Yeah. Look at this move. I mean, this was, you know, when we were on the air, Amazon was trading at uh, 3172. <laughs> at the close, it was Amazon was up at uh, 3300. <laughs> Pretty amazing. And it makes it sense, is, and they got you know? they got 500 million shares outstanding, man. To you know, and you get that type of a move, just staggering moves for sure. <sighs> wow, yeah, amazing. You know, oh, so uh, last night uh, our cousins come down, Tom James James. Okay, okay. It, this is what the story is, though. This is great, folks. Okay, so uh, we're we're sitting there eating supper, and his son's 17, right? And he says, uh, "I'm in the market." And I looked at him. I said, Robin Hood, right? He says, yeah. 
It was awesome. <laughs> hey, join join the 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 young traders out there, man, uh, taking there, over the there's, market. There's no doubt, man. I mean, this, you know. I mean, that, how? I was just gonna say, how about Tesla? I mean, this, you know, there's uh, Tesla's holding up so well, man. After being added to the S and P 500, I mean, the whole, you know, there's, I there's know. a lot to be said. I mean, um. You know, I had no trade in that afterwards, but I would have said, man, I, I think you could probably pretty pretty astutely, you know, look for it to pull back. It pulled back for two days, and then, you Seriously, know, it's basically man. right near all time. Yesterday, if you take that one day out of rotation, it was at all time highs. So, right. They're holding steady. Yeah. Shook it off like nothing, man. Oh, yeah. man. All right. Pretty wild. Hey, how about um, Ant Financial? Did you see that they might be able to save a little face here? They're up 4.6 to with Baba. I did. Um, so they're going to have to basically be under the framework of a bank. They're going to have to be capitalized like a bank. They may be able to put those companies, though, in terms of the loan servicing, et cetera, under that structure of, an, of a holding company. So not quite the capitalization, but they'll still be able to be in those businesses. Um, That's right. With, with more. And it, as soon as they so what we're talking about, folks, is that you had China come down on them and the aspect they didn't. Well, they said that they want them out of the lending business and out of the insurance business. Yeah, they wanted, yeah. Yeah, and so now what they're going to try to do is they're going to basically rejigger the company, parts of the company, put it in the regulatory part of the business, and I bet that the, the people, the banks that are already in the business saying, oh, no, here we go, because that's an Not old sure. stodgy business, and them in it, yeah, they're going to have to come up with more capital, but just like we're talking about Tesla, Jack Mack can go out there and get as much money as he wants. <laughs> oh, for sure. Right. I, I agree. Mean, I know, agree. That's yeah. a big, you know, it's, it's kind of as it's to be an investor in there, I'd be worried because China says you can get big and we need you to grow our economy because yes. that's the double edge of this, right? right? But you just can't get that big. So they're probably going to grow from here. You know, you just pull back from 320. You're almost where you were trading at a year ago. So that's, you know, it, it, with that on board, yeah, I agree. They're, they're not going to be, you know, kneecapped. They're just going to make sure that they're not some freewheeling dealing tech company with leverage and all this stuff. They're going to be a, right. um, a bank with assets under China's control that's going to grow that, you know, entire spectrum of their financial services. You can get big. Just keep your mouth shut. Yeah. And, you know, we'll take care of the politics. You want to take care of the business? Good. No. Can you imagine... And being a fly on the wall between Jack Ma and whoever he was meeting over over there with um, those conversations, uh, whew, that would be yeah. an amazing conversation to witness. I can only imagine those two sides. Oh, I um, bet. Or really, Shiv one I bet, side. Listen, man, I bet Shivers went up his spine when they said. I mean, he's he's under order right now that he cannot leave China. Jack Ma is. Okay. That's you know that that came with it. Okay, so you can imagine one second you're one of the richest people in the United States, I mean, in the world, and the yes. next second, yeah, you might be that, but guess what? You can't leave China, period. And he's still hey. under that. Well, he was under that as of yesterday. This Dictators like, love to put a lot of rich people in jail, man, if they start, you know, suppressing their power or coming for oh, them. Yeah. So oh, yeah. that's, 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 I'm sure, yeah. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at this dollar. So it's going to get interesting here, folks. The, uh, you know, the, the first price projection is 88. Um, the dollar is, you know, basically going after these lows out here today. You know, we'll see, we'll see how it shakes out. Uh, this is the first day that uh, is any real juice on the way down, though. We got 89,990. Now it's 89,730 that's going after. Uh, if we go take a look at the euro, because the correlation, of course, is the euro as well as the pound. You know, the euro is up 36 ticks at the top of its range. We take a look at the pound. Pound is up 40 ticks. That's just an ane anemic bounce, the pound. And then we go into the yen. And the yen went down 24 last night. As the yen goes down, that means it's stronger against the dollar. That's no big deal either. But, you know, we'll, we'll see what... And end of the year, I mean, they can push these things anywhere they want in the next couple of days, uh, you know, realistically. There was, there was a cool article on Bloomberg I talked about. So traders boost bets against dollar to highest in almost a decade. Did I you know. see this at all? I was, um, it was worrying me, believe me, yeah. They put it right on the chart, and it's easy to see. Um, the top black line here is the dollar index, Yeah. okay, with the axes on the left. So right now we're right at about 90. So that's the dollar index on the top. This area down here we're looking at is the net speculative bearish bets on the U.S. dollar index, the most since 2011, as in below 
the zero line right here. So you're looking at approaching 20,000 contracts to the bearish side. And you see that that's more than we were at in 2018, 2014, yeah. any of these spikes going all the way back to 2011. And what happens, folks, the reason it would worry you if, when you're, if you're trading is that when it gets lopsided like that, you know, and you're at lows, that's that's just, a, you know, a contrarian indicator that, hey, guess what? That dollar can go higher now, you know? The, you I know. mean, if you look, it, yeah, I, I agree. Um, if you look at the dip in 2017, right? Yeah. So you had the negative action correlating to the dip. And then what happens? You know, we pop over a period um, yeah. from 90 to above to almost, you know, 103 or something like that um, before trailing off. But you can see how when there is that dip, that is, oh yeah, you get that rise sometime. How long that dip lasts, though? It's, I mean, that was a long... That, that, that's the key. So you get a picture... Exactly. Mental calisthenics at six o'clock in the morning when I'm reading that article, I'm saying to myself, yeah, I understand that, but I also understand, bang, then you can really go. <laughs> so we'll see which side that's going to come out. We will. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Dow uh, is up 53. Nasdaq's down at 28. S&Ps are up four and a half. I'll come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 23. You get the Nasdaq down 29. S&Ps are up one. And, uh, yeah, for a holiday week, uh, we got a little volatility out here, folks. Yeah. Um, 
it's interesting we're even on the day. We were up by pretty decent, and uh, I, I this is a critical critical point. You know, just like we talked about break even for the year, it jumped. You know, break even for the day. We'll see what happens. And what you what you do get? So you know, the first sell down was pretty pretty heavy. Well, especially in the NDX 100. Okay. Uh, well, the, the small caps beat they beat them all in the sell down. So we'll see how this shakes out because. Uh, typically what ends up happening with 10.30 in the morning, you get about another 45, 50 minutes. If it stays here, it's like, okay, man, you know, not the end of the world. Uh, you get some more selling. <laughs> uh, you, could, you could get a little, uh, you know, rundown here because you got to figure money managers are up a huge amount. They, they, they better be if they're managing money because <laughs> if they're, their clients are going to basically see all this press, you know, oh, that you how big the market's up. Um, Fifteen percent at least to, yeah. to the Nasdaq ups. You know, if you're in if you're in a tech or a growth, man, Nasdaq's up forty five percent or something. You know, bananas. That's that's a monster number. Man. I mean, the Nasdaq one hundred. Is that right? No, that's not. Excuse me. Let me just put it on daily. We started the year at about eighty seven hundred, and we're at twelve thousand eight hundred. So you're up four thousand points in an eighty seven hundred you know point index, which is yeah forty forty five percent something like that. Yeah, and it. it any of you tigers know the symbol for lemonade? I think lemonade's the thing. Lem lemonade, I think that's the name of the stock. Lemonade, I believe today's the day that the, they're unlocking it, and it's up three. LMND. LMND. We got to see this because this is. No, a, that's not it. Is that? No. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so oh, this is even more. This, oh, you, you got to love this, folks, okay? Let me let me just make sure this is the one. What I is believe this? it is. This is up 350% <laughs> since the IPO, and today. Is the they unlock oh, the, the stock? Okay. Yeah, this is it. Twenty nine dollars. It went IPO on July first. Okay, you're at one hundred and thirteen. Now this this is this is another one that you talk about deviance, right? <laughs> you know, it, it, I believe forty four million shares are getting unlocked today, and the stock's up five dollars. Um, uh, okay, the year's best IPO. Nice. I really, I saw some headlines about this. I hadn't gotten into it. Nice. This is wild. So here it is. Okay, so best performing listing 2020 pulls the end of the year. Insurance provider. Oh, that's a great business, man. There's no doubt. Insurance. Okay, 44 million additional shares, mostly held by insiders, will be eligible for sale today. Okay, so this is. <laughs> Oh man! Imagine and you're up five. You're up five percent too, right? Yes, yes, exactly. That's what's so deviant about. It. That's why it I is. wanted to see it. I says, you know yeah. what? The, the, these are the things, folks, that you actually just have to see happen a few times, because I don't care if you're a fundamentalist or a technical person. It's hard to wrap your head around something like that. You and, know. And it, it would make sense in hindsight, looking at the chart, you got it up here on a 15 minute. I mean, you just went in the last two days from 137 to 105. So yeah. if you were planning on being in this equity and getting out potentially on the day of the lockup, why would you do that? You'd get out the day before and then you say to yourself, well, geez, if I'm going to get out the day before, why don't I get out the day before that? Right. Right. But you can't. Yeah. Oh, right. I'm talking about other people, though. Oh, this, yes, that, yes. Oh, which is sure. why it just traded from 137 oh, they did. Yeah, to, right, right, to 105. Right. For sure, man. Wow. You would never be in it if you had all those shares, if you were considering selling anytime soon. Yes. Right? Yes. Never. Yeah. So you got some decent volume, and people got out of it on Christmas Eve. Right. And then they got out of it after seeing what happened on Christmas Eve. Totally. They got out of it yesterday as well. Yeah. What a Christmas present, man. Oh, right. Can't go wrong there. And kudos to those people. I mean, look what happens. And this is why, you know, to keep in mind, you know, talk about like it goes from 135 down to 125 right on the open. And it kind of stays there. Um, you know, it chops around up to 130. But you could say to yourself, well, geez, I just missed $10. Maybe I'll wait for it to get up a little bit, you know? <laughs> yeah. And guess what, folks? You would have had from 125 and you probably wouldn't have had a chance to get out between, you know, maybe 110 when yeah. it opens on Monday. So there's never any problem taking don't you don't need the high tick you don't need the low tick to buy seriously and when you look back at this this was so, so wild too this is just october 29th folks it was only at 46 dollars. <laughs> so you know a, a lot of that run was right from there that's oh. that's you know yep amazing it is the the paper pushing out the paper and you know until that paper's 
cashed in, but when you got some paper and you're cashing it in, man, it is a monster move. Oh, this is a cool story. So listen to this, folks. I've been following this guy for a long period of time, particularly because, you know, I'm in Florida. I'm in the real estate business. This guy, though, this is this. And if you've never been to basically the panhandle, folks, okay, the panhandle of Florida is absolutely amazing. And it's not developed. That's uh, it's just like kind of the West Coast of Florida really isn't developed compared to the East Coast. The East Coast has been there forever. But check this out. So this is the St. Joe Company. Tony, I, when you I, know the, I know the name only from you guys talking about it now. Go ahead. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, just the show and pulling it up. Yeah. And this is amazing, folks. Okay. So this guy, uh, Berkowitz, I remember when this happened. It happened 10 years ago. He was getting rid of the people that were running the St. Joe Company. Okay. Came in, patience beyond belief, and... The bottom line, where do you see the amount of land they own? On the west coast of Florida, folks, and this is some of the, well, it, it is always picked the best beach in the world. The one problem with where they are is that when hurricanes come in, they, they always, you know, go, okay. up, go up into that area, okay? Sure, so yeah. That's a problem for sure. But wait till you see how much land they have. This is, if any, all the big builders that we talk about, I'm going to have to deal with them. They, let me see this here. I think it's 176,000 acres or something. That's, uh, here's, his, here's his quote. The place is hitting an inflection point, said Berkowitz. For a long time when I invested, people were valuing it like it was swampland. Um, okay, so there yeah, you here go, it is. 175,000 acres. Walton and Bay Country, St. Joe, is the only game in town for anyone looking to put their stamp on one of the last overlooked stretches of the Gulf Coast white sand shores. Currently, the company has entitlements to build over 170,000 residential units near the Gulf Coast, according to its latest annual report. This is like something else, folks. I mean, I don't think there's that yeah, much land so left in the United States next to a beach. You know what I mean? That, yeah. Especially a, a beach in, in one of the, you know, um, Gorgeous. biggest tourist, tourist right. states in the union. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool, because I remember that company. And what's what's their symbol? Can you just pull up the chart? You know, St. Joe's? Yeah, St. Joe's. St. Joe's. And this is, it just took off again. This has always been a Joe right here. There it is. Okay. So that's trading. It's trading Joe, it's funny. It's trading down 10% today. <laughs> oh, wow. But, right? but look yeah. at this. Since, just since October, yeah. it's gone from $19 to 44 and look at the look at the run that it had up to 85. So I saw in that same article that they said that Einhorn shorted the heck out of it from 2005 to some period of time. Yeah. And, and boy, he made this money. Thing. He made 50 percent. So get out before the run. Yeah. I heard. It. Yes. Yeah. We should extend that chart back so they can see it was it was all the way uh, in 2005 up to 85 and then back down to nothing. We will. As soon as we come back, we'll look at this thing. Oh, my That's God. That's why I'm like, yeah, there was, we're not oh. even at highs yet, though. We're not even at right. highs. Right. Stay right yeah. there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. Are you looking to buy or sell gold, silver, platinum, coins, or bullion? We can help. At Tiger Precious Metals and Stones, we specialize in the buying and selling of gold, silver, as well as collectible U.S. and foreign coins. We not only buy our unwanted or broken jewelry, but you can trade that in for gold and silver coins, too. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245 for a quote over the phone and to lock in the current market price. Call us now at 727-329-8245. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. 
Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 23. You get the uh, Nasdaq uh, down four. S&Ps are up five. We're talking about the St. Joe company. And, yeah, there's no doubt here. So let's put this on a longer-term chart because this is one shot, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, uh, the founder is only half as rich as he was back in 2005. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty amazing, right? So yeah. 2005 is up at $85. Goes all the way down to $12. And really didn't start moving until, uh, yeah, until sure. March. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And um, now, could you go into the insiders and just see even who yes. owns that? I was curious. They got about 58 million shares outstanding. Um, because, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's the, so, the person. So there's, the num there's, there's Bruce, Fathom Capital, 44%. Yeah, fair home, okay. Yeah, 26 home. million shares. Yeah, right. not bad, not bad. Now, now I mean, watch you... this, folks. This is where, oh, and this is, oh, this is interesting. Look, at personally, he's got another 1.5 okay. million right there. Yep. Um, so what happens is this, folks. Is it, This is why people won't, you got to believe that the land is worth money, too. This is what ends up happening. So when you go to the revenue and so when you go to the revenue, you're going to see that even this next quarter, they're going to come in with a loss. Well, what that is, is that they have so much land. I believe some of this land, listen to this number. I think some of this land is on the books like at three or four cents an acre. And what happens, folks, is that you don't up that part of it. OK, you know, you, you can. But the last story I read about St. Joe's, they weren't doing that. OK, so. The, res the commercial and residential real estate that they actually have, as long as they're leasing it out, right? The depreciation on it looks like they're losing money. <laughs> and if the land's not valued, right, the bottom line is that you're never paying taxes on it, you're never doing nothing. So that's why these things are basically hidden gems sometimes, okay? But, you, you know, land is great, except that land does have expenses on one sure. side of the balance sheet. You know what I mean? Until it, it's worth more money, you know? Yeah. Um, so pretty wild, man. It's, it is. And it would make sense. It's kind of, it's, it's always interesting company like that. Where, where does that fall now that we've gone from 20 to 50 back to 43 in a heartbeat? Yeah. Yes. And what's intriguing, and I'm glad, you know, we actually had to bring that back further because I'm going to actually look at that more because compared to where that was in 2005 that you know let that let that take a good hit that that could be a a, a good long-term deal if you're bullish on you know the west coast of florida sure. <laughs> in, ge in general I, you know yeah yeah but when you get a land yeah. bank folks there is there you know listen to this when you break down this is this is a wild one when you break down 
you know, we, we talk about Florida's inexpensive, and it is compared to Boston or New York or something. Okay, let's, let's stay with Boston. Yes. But when you actually break it down per square inch, we're actually as expensive or more expensive than Boston. And what I mean by that is this, is that because we get to put, like, I can put a very, I can actually put, almost put two houses on 5,500 square feet. <laughs> so the, the land value, isn't that weird? That, Sorry, could you go through that again? Versus yes. Boston, versus how, versus... Because so what you're getting, right? Let, let's say down here, you're allowed to build, well, you, can, you build a single on 3,500 feet, okay? 3,500 okay. square feet, okay? Yes. I'm building most of them on 5,500. So when okay. you actually do the land value, you know, and say, like, let's say I'm in Boston, it's a million dollars. Well, yeah, it's a million dollars, but guess what? You know, whether it's Milton or Quincy, you know, you're getting like a half acre. Not, a, You know what I'm saying? Okay. When you actually okay. take the land value of it okay. and break it down, Florida's not inexpensive as people think it is because you're getting less land in general. Okay. Do you know what I mean? I got you. So it's pretty wild. I mean, when you really start breaking it down because... But you might be getting the same house. You'd be getting... Maybe not the same, but you know what I'm. Yeah, that's oh, where the skew. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you you're getting basically newer houses. Yeah. Yesterday, I, I sent Beth, I sent Beth for the house up in the, one of them in South Boston. It was like, check it out, folks. Okay, I mean, South Boston's great and they're getting a fortune, but this house it was on Loring Street. It still had radiators in it, and they were getting, <laughs> um, I think it was thirteen hundred bucks a foot, and radiators, folks. They stopped putting radiators in like 1950, 55. It's a, it's a classical design. <laughs> Seriously, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. It, yeah. is, it is wild. But hey, that's, that's demand. Oh, and that's, it's, it's, yeah. Listen, I, I, I can't wait to see just from a, you know, fundamental perspective of the shift of everything of how markets like that, you know, and Boston's going to be fine. They got enough great businesses, the biotechs, the colleges and stuff Seriously, like that. But there right. is going to be a shift. Oh, yeah. And there's not going to be as great of a need to pay inordinate amounts of money like has happened with some of the biggest cities out there. Boston's one example, but man, like Seattle, right? San Francisco, yeah. all of those. There's, there's, I imagine there's going to be a recalibration, man. Um, it'll still exist. That's where the executives are. People are going to be in that place. But in general, you're going to see a lot of demand wane around huge cities when it gets too out of whack. That's the key. It, People it are is. still going to be love to be in big cities. There's going to be a big premium for it. But it just might not be that big, man, when, when the you can make a simple trade-off and live in a mansion by the beach well, wherever and, you want. And in Boston, I, I suspect, you know, people, even if they're not going further away, they can go right down to the Cape, man. <laughs> you There's know? a lot. There's yeah. a lot of beautiful towns. Maybe you just go a little bit further west, right? You find a great big plot of land where you want. Yeah. You get a nice big house, right? There's a million for sure. Yeah, yeah. there's no doubt. Yeah. Dow, Dow right now uh, is up 27. Let's see inside the Dow. Uh, you know, I mean, the, the market uh, basically is, you know, just saying, hey, man, I, I just got a little bounce going. Uh, yeah. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness. Uh, strength is Amgen putting 28 positive points. United Health 17, Boeing 17, taking away from it. Salesforce minus 13, Honeywell 9, Goldman 9. Nothing, nothing big out here, man. You know, CRM, man, let's take a look at that because yeah. I keep talking about this in my newsletter. Yeah, you've been making a fortune on this thing. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens, right? But um, the, the a lot of these equities what I keep talking about, man, now this thing filled the entire gap from the earnings they had in August. Uh, they came out with earnings in December, not growing at the rate that they were looking for. Still, still tremendous growth. Um, and let me just post my chart. You don't have it up there. There we go. Um, and so we've bounced along this level, and we've been selling some cash secured puts in this. Um, and if we get executed, I mean, when you go back to pre-COVID, you're at a level of almost $200 in this equity. Yeah. And they're in the cloud. They're a growing company. They got added to the Dow. There's the bullish case. We're in it in the newsletter in some capacity like that. But these are equities when you look at some of those positions, right? I mean, I just talked about in my program earlier, you know, the likes of, like, Target up at almost all-time highs of 180. Um you might not see this thing explode when we just went from 90 to 180, but you're going to see some consolidation areas, man. And there might be some nice premium and options um, to collect during some of these consolidations because I don't see Target pulling back and I don't see it going to 260 when the world opens back up. You know, we're going yes. to have this, this shift of things um, in a similar way with the home builders. Why is Home Depot at 267 when it was at 247 before COVID? Yeah. 
It's, you know, and it's because, yeah, it's going to be here, but is it going to trade dramatically higher when everybody goes out and parties for six months and I travels? I think so. That's right. But They're it's gonna not going to pull back either because the world has changed. We're spending a lot more time at home. Right. Depot, Lowe's, Target, Walmart, Amazon. Um, so look for consolidation, baby. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the Newsletter tab. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, an essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials are up two. You get the NASDAQ are down four. S&Ps are uh, also up three. And uh, gold uh, up 420. You get silver down 20 cents. And good old king dollar is uh, down 366. Bitcoin, uh, that's hanging up there, man. <laughs> 26,596 right now. XBT. Let's see this. December 11th, we were at 18,000. Remarkable. It really is, man. I mean, yeah. And you spiked up what we spiked up. Was it Sunday night? Uh, what what day is today? Yeah, Sunday night to 28,000. What is that? Oh, my God. 28,365. Yeah. It was basically yesterday, right? Yeah, well, yes. Said. I have it as. Huh? Uh, what do we got? Let's see. The night before. Well, yes, yeah, Sunday. Know. I guess Sunday night. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't have a Sunday bar. Do you have a Sunday bar? Is that what you have? Yeah. You do. You have a, yeah. you have a Sunday bar on your chart. Okay. Yeah. How'd that happen? 
I, I don't know, bars. man. <laughs> I, I, <listen. laughs> I, that, that, the world of Bitcoin, man. You better be careful. That That's one why there I stay confounds away from it. me. Yeah, there's. That's there's, because there's there's there's. I like to invest in things that I have a a, a, a good grasp of the variables and risks I'm trying to quantify. There's uh, no doubt, one of the man. risks in there is that there's a lot of risk, man. Just I would want if you're doing transactions, you have your own wallet. I don't understand that quite well enough. Um, all yeah. those, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the amount of time you have to spend to get familiar with those, man. But I don't like when you're putting money at risk when real you money, have yeah, real right. money with with real risk that you don't quite know how to quantify as good as some other people because there's some bright crypto people out there, man, and I just don't have it like they have it, man, because it's time. You only, you only got so much time. That's right, folks. Stay right there. We get think of some coming up next. And I'm Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Bam! Look at him, folks.